Hi everyone, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting the 128th, I think, Quick Query Critique. But before I get to that, number one, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, excuse me if I sound a little nasal, I'm just getting over that nasty cold that everyone seems to have. Um, in this uh, newsletter, we've got a blogger, um, a subscriber to MarlaMiller.com who um, he has something to say about agents and mutual respects, so and you might find that interesting, um, as well as uh, a, a big announcement about the upcoming Sa um, Southern California Writers Conference. It's in mid-February over President's Day holiday, and it's, it's a really terrific conference, and of course I'll be there teaching Marketing the Muse workshops. Um, and then one last thing, Show Don't Tell, our next installment, installment number five, will uh, be in next week's Muse letter. And um, in, in this installment, I'm already working on it now, so I know what I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be showing uh, in places where my editor has told me I tell too much. Sound familiar? So I hope that you'll find that um, um, helpful to you in your writing. Okay, but let's get to this one. This is a query letter by uh, a writer who has, um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what genre this is, but let's just read it and, and um, see what we think. Dear Blank, Lauren Festino's life is a living hell, which is why she sells her soul. Her parents fight all the time. The alpha girl at school torments her. She's a good student, but a to total loser in the popularity game, the only high school competition she cares about. If Lauren wins fall formal princess, then maybe she'll get some respect, but her chances are slim without a powerful boost. That's why she makes a deal with Esme, the demonic lunch lady, who is also a distributor of Brimstone International, purveyor of fine supernatural products. Irresistible attractiveness is fun for a while, but Lauren soon discovers the downside. While dodging stalkers, jealous classmates, and a hostile dean of girls, she also manages to alienate TJ, her own, her one true friend. She tries to return her purchase for a full refund and learns that all sales are final. Lauren can't leave it there. Criminal tendencies are filling the void where her soul used to be. If she can't cancel the purchase, she'll end up being the most popular girl in jail. Matters go from bad to worse when her soul winds up on IMAR, an international auction site. There's also a problem with her dad, a shady businessman who may have conned the whole town. The detective sniffing around the Faustino house thinks so. Lauren is determined to crack the case herself, even if if the answers destroy her comfortable suburban life. Please consider my 83,000 word novel, Incomplete. It's Faust meets Nancy Drew with cast of crooks, posers, and a savvy little monkey named Dante. I'm the author of Blank uh, and Blank, two books. I'm currently marketing the prom book online and in personal appearances. I've also written dozens of magazine articles, columns, essays, and literary journal pieces. Publications include, and then she gives a list. I wrote st several study guides for the Center Theater Group for use in blank high schools. I have an MFA in creative writing from blank. I'm querying you, blank. Um, thank you for your time and attention. Sincerely. Okay. So what do we think of Incomplete? Um, first of all, we don't know what genre this is, so I'm assuming it's young adult, but um, young adult paranormal, uh, young adult fantasy, um, but I would really encourage this author to specify what it is, and I would um, encourage her to bring that up top along with the title of this book, Incomplete. So what do I think of Incomplete? I like it uh, a lot. I think it's funny, and um, I think that this is a, here's an example, and again, I post the uh, query letters so that you could, you know, study them uh, while I'm reading them. Um, here's an example of an author who writes funny but doesn't tell us that the novel's going to be funny, which I like. Um, I like to smile when I read a query letter. It makes me want to know how many more smiles I'm going to get in this in this um, novel that if I were an agent, I certainly would encourage her to send me the first couple of chapters at least. But before she sends this query letter, just one, uh, one observation and... Um, I suppose she could keep it as is, but I think she could make this query tighter if she weaves it in, and that is that um, she talks in the 
first paragraph about her parents fighting all the time. We do not hear about her dad and his shady dealings until the one, two, three, the fourth paragraph. Um, so here's what I'm wondering. Uh, does uh, what Lauren, which is the protagonist's name, does Lauren worry that she's going down the same uh, shady road that her dad went down? And is that of issue to her? I'm guessing that it is because she's willing to help the detectives sniff out the crime that he is committing. So um, we've got a daughter who has a father who's doing shady business who she's willing to um, help uh, detectives um, expose, um, but she's also doing some shady business of her own. So I think those two um, plot points, if she can marry them in the query letter, if she can intersect them, I think that this query letter will be even um, more hookable than I think it is right now. It's interesting, isn't it? Um, at least I think it is. So I would encourage this author to just look at um, integrating um, dad's shady dealings with her own and then uh, uh, you know send this query letter out to agents. Now when she talked about two other books that have been um, published I don't know she named suppress and I didn't look I didn't google the name so I don't know if this is an indie publishing a small publishing house I don't think it's a large one because I would have probably recognized the imprint but maybe not um, so I hope that this is helpful to this author, and um, until the next time I offer a quick query critique, be well, keep writing, and um, check out um, Show Don't Tell next week. I'd love to know what you think, and I do appreciate all the feedback that I am getting. Uh, until then, be well, I hope.